What's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well today. Got another uh, quick little review here for you. I've been doing a lot, and I mean a lot of testing with all kinds of different microphones and audio setups, trying to get things right for my YouTube channel and the, the bike videos, tutorials and stuff that I make. So I've been testing a lot of different microphones. And today I got something cool I want to show you here. This is a great microphone for when you're on the go and, you know, for a studio setup. But it really, one of the coolest things that I see here is the fact that this can be used with your phone. This is, a, you know, a studio level microphone that you can record off your, you know, your Galaxy or your iPhone anytime on the go. No problem. Boom. The Comica STM USB microphone. Now you can see here, this might look kind of familiar to you. It's very similar in design to uh, one of the mics from another big name company who I won't mention here. And we'll just go over our specs here real quick. You have, it's our uh, usual condenser style microphone cardioid pattern you have 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency there and that's great it records 16 bit awesome so you know it's it's great got a 96 decibel dynamic range on it there records that uh you could use 48 or 44.1 kilohertz for your sample rate and it's powered off usb 5 volt usb using usb c which is great i'd love to see that and the whole thing only weighs 370 grams. Nice, lightweight microphone. So, what do you say we take a quick dive down, I'll show you guys what's in the box, and then we'll do a quick little audio sample for you. All right, booyah. So let's pop this beauty out of the box and see what we have here, right? Just undo that quick. Open that. Slide that back, and there we are. Greeted by a nice Comica velvet storage bag here. Very nice to include that. Here you have your user manual, all the usual QC warranty instruction card. This is just your basic instructions on how to set up the microphone on its uh, little stand here and then connect it to your computer. But I'll tell you that real quick here so we can put that to the side. All right, so right here you have a nice pop filter metal screen pop filter that's for your plosives anything with a p a b s's all that stuff this will help to reduce the impact of that here you have a standard usb a to usb type c that's for connecting to your computer and then if your computer has a usb c port on it already you could just go usb c to usb c or if your phone has a usb c port on it if you have an iPhone like I do, you'll need a lightning adapter, though, and that is not included. All right, so let's get the star of the show out here. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. The Comica STM USB microphone. And here you can see over on the side, here's your mute, your headphone input or output, sorry, for monitoring your speech. And here's your switch for uh, moving between the two different capsules that are in here. You have bi-directional, which records sounds from both sides, which is good for doing interview or podcast type stuff. And then you have your regular cardioid pattern, which you would speak into the front face of this microphone, and it will ignore and cancel everything from this back side here. Now you have a very nice, smooth gain control here as well as the volume control for your headphone monitoring which is fantastic and then like you can see here you have your little USB-C input there and a nice anodized aluminum thumb nut here which is fantastic and I don't know if you'll be able to see in there no that's not going to show up on camera unfortunately but you can see there are two big beefy 17 millimeter uh, condenser capsules in here and just to put that into perspective for you the uh, alternative to this 
from another big name company, very similar mic, I'm sure you probably know which one I'm hinting at, uses 14, one 14 millimeter capsule, and the gold standard microphone for podcasts and streaming and the likes with the uh, name Yeti in it, uses 14 millimeters. So you're getting bigger capsules in here, which is pretty awesome especially considering the price. These go for around 100 to 120 bucks, which is a great deal. We'll pull this insert out here and we will get our base stand out as well as the mount. And then we'll get this stuff out of the way. All right, so here is our base mount. Nice plastic stand here, base stand. Nice uh, aluminum hardware, you get another thumb screw here. And then this piece here is what you will use to mount your microphone to that stand. Now, what you'll notice on this piece here, there's that little nib down in there. And that means that you have to put the pop filter on top of this. So what you do, undo your thumb screw here. Nice and smooth threads too, I really like to see that. And what you do, you take your pop filter, oops, sorry, take your pop filter, slide that up on there like that, and then take your uh, base mount, wrong way, just like this, okay? And then you throw your thumb nut, your nut back on there, tighten that down, make sure your screen's lined up, everything's, in order and beautiful tighten that down and we take our base stand here and you just screw that in real easy okay and there we go send your thumb nut up there just to tighten that down and voila you have yourself a beautiful little studio broadcaster mic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, guys, so now that you've seen how we set this up, we'll get this plugged in. I already have a USB-C out on my computer, so I'm just gonna use the ex my existing connection here. So we'll pop that in, USB-C on the bottom, and there we go, that's it. You are ready to go. And as you can see, when I hit the mute button there, your uh, indicator light on the front turns red. Hit it again, back to green, and we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna set the gain at about 50%, and we're gonna do a quick little audio test, all right? So let's see what this thing sounds like. All right, guys, so now we are, we're no longer using the lav mic. I unplugged that, and we are now, recording with this little beauty right here. I have that plugged in through the USB-C input on my computer and we're now using OBS Studio to record this. So it's very easy to use. It plugged right in. I brought up OBS, added a new microphone and bang, there it was, Comica STM USB. It's super easy to use and you could hear the audio quality here is it's great it's it's fantastic i have no complaints whatsoever the headphone monitoring is there's no latency there it's zero latency there's no lag so you won't be getting tripped up by hearing your wor own words played back to you with a delay we're currently recording using the cardioid pattern i'll click it over into bi-directional just to show you guys this is with the cardioid pattern. This is the Comica STM USB microphone audio test. This is the Comica USB microphone audio test. This is the Comica USB microphone audio test. Just so you guys could hear the difference there as I rotate it through the pattern. And now we'll click on the bi-directional pattern. Okay, there we are. This is the Comica STM USB microphone audio test. Okay, rotate that. This is the Comica 
STM USB audio test. Let's give the pop filter a quick test, shall we? We're gonna rotate that back and out of the way. See, now we're just using the face, front face. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Now I'll put the cover back in front. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I have very high hopes for this microphone. I think it's going to perform great. So I'm going to start editing this real quick and then I'll get back to you. I just been sitting here editing this video together. The audio that this microphone produces is mwah, fantastic. That about wraps this test up. Quick unboxing, quick review. I personally am very impressed with this microphone. If you have about a hundred dollars to spend, if that's around your budget, and you're getting into Twitch streaming, making YouTube videos, recording Instagram, Facebook content, any of that stuff, even for video conferencing calls, you always want good audio. Your audio is very, very important. It doesn't matter if you have 8K video. If the audio sounds like garbage, nobody's going to want to watch your content or listen to it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this here, guys. This is a great microphone. Comica is a great company. I use a lot of their gear. They have great customer service. Yeah, pick one of these bad boys up. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. If you found it helpful, let me know. All right, see ya.